Hi, in this video we're going to cover the bush toilet, tips and options, and guys and girls friendly options too. I'm Ronnie for Four Wheeling in Western Australia and let's get into the basic tools. Okay, so as you can see we've now popped this pop-up tent up and uh, we have all our tools here. So let's start with the basics. Shovel and the TP, perfect TP holder, toilet paper holder. Now, luxury item, baby wipes. If you have kids, you know how bloody good these are. These are awesome and also a luxury item to have in the bush. Now, this is the basic. Now, if you're not happy with this, there's a chair. So now you've got extra, added luxury. Now, if you want privacy, get one of these. Um, you know, if you bring your wife and family out to the bush or your girlfriend or whatever, she'll be very uh, appreciative of one of these. Now, just keep in mind though, if you buy one of these, this is a shower tent, brand new. The bottom, it has a bottom on it. Now, I will cut that out. That way you can get away with digging a hole. Now, before you go digging holes in all national parks and stuff across Australia, you've got to also realise that um, it's actually not tolerated to dig holes and leave human waste and toilet paper in holes and burying it. Some places you can't do it. You get caught, you, you, know, it's, you get fined, etc. Um, but in the places you can do it, uh, I'll suggest using um, uh, environmental friendly paper. This is not environmental friendly paper, it's just some paper I have in the car. Now, in the event of um, having you know, nature calls, you, you gotta go. If you're in a national park, most national parks will have a long drop toilet. So, you know, just go to the long drop toilet, no need to dig holes, you got your own privacy there and everything, and you won't get in trouble. So, say there is no long drop toilet, and you know the area you're not allowed to do your business and bury it, you have the option of a bucket with plastic bags. Now, you don't necessarily have to be in a situation where you have to use this. This can be handy for kids because you don't want young kids wandering off into the bush or maybe your missus or your wife or whatever just needs to take a kid somewhere. Well, here you go. Here's a bucket. Take your kid in there, zip it up. They can do the business. Take it back out and uh, deal with the mess later. Now, in saying dealing with the mess later, Biodegradable bags, you shouldn't just bury in the ground. You shouldn't throw around either. Uh, biodegradable bags and their UV radiation to break them down. It's like your shopping bags at a shopping mall. It's the same thing. It's the same stuff. What you need is a compostable bag. You can get these at a website called Biopack. The link is down below. They sell compostable bags. They are the only bags that I know of that you can actually bury into the ground and they will decompose. It's on their website. Check it out. Record. Now back onto the hole I've dug. Now, you can't just dig any old hole. You should really have your hole at least 300 mil deep or a foot deep. This will allow plenty of room for your waste and you drop the toilet paper in. After you're done, bury it. Put all the soil back in. If you need some more around, put some more on, compact it. This will prevent any wild dogs from digging it up, which does happen. So if it's not buried deep enough, you would just get a wild dog or something or some animal digging it up and then you got crap everywhere. Now, please do make sure that you do dig a hole and you bury your waste in the areas you can do it because it's not pleasant to go behind a tree, you think you got a nice spot and there you see a, a brown landmine on the ground with bits of toilet paper scattered everywhere. That is not cool. You cannot do that. That is it's feral. It's disgusting. Don't do that. Bury it. Bury it and everyone else will be happy. Right folks, thanks for watching. As always, you know where to hit us up on fourwheelinginwesternaustralia.com and please subscribe if you haven't already and you can find us on Facebook and Google+. Now I need some privacy. See ya.